Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I've got a full face of bourgeois makeup and I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm really excited to put all these products on my face. Bourgeois is a brand that kind of is promoting enhancing your own beauty. So it's not about, you know, maximum coverage. It's not about that from what I gather. It's more about, you know, just adding a little flush of color you know, looking primed and glowy and look like you're glowing from within. So that is exactly what we're gonna try and achieve today. A very like healthy looking, glowy looking makeup look. So let's just get straight into the makeup. So first we've got the Healthy Mix Primer in the shade Pink Radiant. And this is what it looks like. It's very, very pink and it kind of worries me because I'm really yellow. So I'm not too sure how the pink is gonna sit on top of my yellow. I'm hoping that it'll neutralize everything but it does look like a nice glowy primer it looks like it's gonna add a nice sheen so hopefully i look glowy like it'll come through the foundation make me look very healthy i mean it is called healthy mix okay so let's just pop this everywhere i would usually prime it actually feels quite nice and light and refreshing on the skin it feels like a moisturizer i'm not gonna lie okay so initially my face has gone pink and i'm not too sure how i feel about this but i'm just hoping after like foundation and everything it's just gonna just gonna basically make everything nice and neutral this primer it smells like apricots it smells gorgeous it smells so good it's a very hydrating kind of shiny primer but it's not gonna do any pore filling and that is my major concern that's what i look for in a primer but this is sitting on the skin very nicely it's left it really nice and tacky and in all honesty I, I it doesn't look too pink so it's not that bad it kind of just it's left me flushed it looks like i've gone for a, like a two mile run that's a long it looks like I've gone for a mile run. It's made me look really like I'm active, which right now I'm really not. So for foundation, I've got the Healthy Mix foundation. I got the shade 56 Light Bronze. I've heard so many good things about this foundation, so I'm taking two pumps on the back of my hand. So we're just gonna go straight in, you know. We're not messing around. And this is a really good shade match for me okay initially i ain't mad at it i don't know if it's the foundation that i just feel like everything smells like apricots and it's so nice so this is giving me medium coverage it's very dewy which i like i love a dewy finish i feel like it makes you look so healthy with two pumps, one layer, this is kind of what it's looking like. I am going to build up a few more layers to get more coverage because I've got a few blemishes. I have yeah, been breaking out because I've been eating lots of crap. <laughs> but it's just, yeah, life. Okay, so this is three layers of the foundation. And in all honesty, my skin looks super healthy. But... There's still like blemishes on my face, like it's not covered this one or this one. So, I don't know, it is, it's, if you had great skin, if you didn't have blemishes, this would look incredible, but because I, I do have blemishes, I, I don't know. I love it, I love the finish, but it's not enough coverage. But I'm hoping that the concealer will cover it. So I've got the Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Concealer in the shade. 53 so this is the shade dark which i find crazy like in no way shape or form is this dark and if this is dark i mean you really need to increase your shade range <laughs> i've heard great things about this concealer too and that is a fabulous color love that color just gonna conceal everything i like the consistency of this it's like thin but it looks like it has a lot of pigmentation so I'm just gonna like try and pop it in the areas where I have my spots and hopefully it will all get covered
oh my goodness that is a fabulous concealer like honestly that has banded out like a dream i've got full coverage my blemishes have been covered this might be a new fave because it's given me like a skin like finish too wow to set the face i've got this air matte uh, powder in the shade apricot beige so this is the shade and yeah i'm just gonna set my whole face oh and that smells really good too i just feel like all this makeup smells like apricot and i'm here for it i love apricots it smells so good okay this powder is insane i kid you not i feel like it's giving me the kind of same airbrush finish as the charlotte tilbury like it's mattifying and it's blurring my pores oh my god that is a fabulous powder i love that it smells divine and it works perfectly like honestly i feel like my pores have been blurred wow okay so for bronzer we're gonna use the bronzing powder in the shade 52 this is so well loved like seriously this is the state of it i use this so much this not only smells super nice like all their makeup but oh my god it's such a beautiful color and this is always out of stock everywhere okay so i actually came across this product one day when i forgot all my makeup when i was traveling so i was just in um boots just looking for something a nice little bronzer that I could use as like a bronzer contour kind of situation and i just decided to try this one and i was blown away i was like i found my new fave this product is so good like honestly i use hardly anything and it's pigmented it blends nicely it bronzes you it contours you it's just yeah super nice next we're doing blush i've got the shade uh lias dior golden lilac i said that so wrong you know what i didn't do french at school i did german so forgive me <laughs> but uh, it's in the shade Golden Lilac and it is so beautiful. So I'm just gonna rosy up my cheeks. And I know this works. Honestly, I've had this for years and it just does not run out. Okay, that is so beautiful. So glowy. I love, I love, 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 love. So for highlight, I have a single eyeshadow. And it's in the shade Original All Free. This is the shade it is so pretty i saw it as an eyeshadow and i thought this would be perfect as a highlight so that is what we're gonna do yes okay yes good call good call azima great call <gasps> it's so finely milled you can barely see it on the skin oh my god and it's glitzy and it's glam and it's just so pretty it's so pretty oh, yes Oh my god, I think highlighter is absolutely my favourite part of makeup. Like, you know when Cinderella has her glow up? That's how I feel. Like, this is my glow up. Quite literally a glow up. So do a little bit up here. Because I like highlighting above my brow now. That's a, that's a new thing. A little bit down here. It is super glittery. So, you know, you gotta be careful with this. But I am mad at it, like seriously, wow. And milk mustache. And oh my god, guys, this is beautiful. Every get your hands on it. Seriously, like this is everything. We are using the Bourjois Brows Duo Sculpt in the shade brown. And this is what the pencil looks like. And we've also got a highlighter to use underneath. brows are done i like them i don't love them i think the brow pencil was very easy to use it was nicely pigmented there was nothing wrong with it it just wasn't it's not my favorite product my brows are quite natural 
but I don't know. There's something I'm not sold on. And the highlighting little side of it, I'm not a fan. I don't, I hardly ever highlight my eyebrows. I just don't see the point. I kind of like a natural looking brow. I have this little quad here and it's in the shade Smoky Stories. So we've got lots of little greys and silvers in here and we're gonna do a smoky eye surprise surprise <laughs> and um because there's no transition shade i'm gonna use the bronzer Okay, so that is the eyeshadow situation. I'm into it. I mean, it's very smoky. It's kind of glitzy and I think it's come out quite pretty. So I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner. This is the well tip liner in ultra black and this is the tip. That is super black. Oh my god, I love that. That was easy to use and so precise. So for mascara, we have got the Push Up Volume Glamour Ultra Black Edition Mascara. And this looks super up my screen because I love volume. I live for volume. So let's see how this goes. I'm just hoping that it won't end up being clumpy. Okay, I'm just going to build up a few coats and then... We'll have a look at what this situation is. Realistically, is this my favourite mascara? I don't think so. I mean, I got a little bit of volume initially and then it became clumpy the more layers I added. So, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this quite yet. I'm going to use it a few more times and make my mind up about it. But initially, I'm not the biggest fan. So, moving on. We are going to do lips. For lip liner, I have the lip liner in the shade Sweet Brownie. This is like the best 90 shade of all time. It's so nice. And then for lips, I literally have a huge collection. So I literally have all of these. Oh my God, this is falling on the floor. All of these and more. So I've decided the lip color I want to use is this Rouge Edition Velvet Lipstick. It's a matte one in the shade Cafe Ole. It's a nice one. Okay, so this is my final look using a full face of Bourjois Paris makeup and I am really happy with it. I'm not pleasantly surprised because I knew a lot of these products are going to work. Um, I love the base products, the concealer, foundation together, beautiful. Like this is a dewy dream. The powder, the powder, the powder was my fave. Like the powder was incredible. I feel like it kind of gave me the same effect as the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder so cheap dupe alert the blush beautiful highlighter well it's not a highlighter but it's incredible um the eyeshadow quad it works i'm not like the biggest fan of a smoky eye but that's just the kind of color palette that i had in store i thought i'd kind of try something different the mascara again not the biggest fan but the eyeliner eyeliner was insane like it's super black super precise could not ask for anything else the lip liner and lip situation i'm i'm really feeling this this is super cute it's super 90s and yes just yes but yeah overall i think a few bad products but majority of the products are amazing if you enjoyed my video then make sure that you give it a like make sure you subscribe and join my youtube family because it always means the most and i'll see you guys on the next one Also, did I buy a new robe? Absolutely. Do I have another mustard robe? Absolutely. Did I justify this robe by saying it's a long one opposed to the other one that's short? Absolutely. Have I got a robe addiction? I think so. <laughs>